The Howard Stern Show. First of all, when you think about it, Star Trek into X Men. Mm-hmm. I mean, and you probably said to yourself when they offered you X Men, "Wait a second, I was just in Star Trek. I can't mm-hmm. be. A, they, I can't be Professor Xavier." I turned it down. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Are you insane? Yeah. Why don't you call me when you have these decisions to make? Why, who are you <laughs> well, to, did you you turn down X Men? I did. Yeah. What was you thinking there? Yeah, um, I had already had experience of the fact that when you have played a, a, a character as as iconic as as not as iconic as Kirk, of course, but Picard became a symbol. Yes. Um, I went, there was a movie job that I wanted to do, and I had been pressing my agent, let me get in the room what with was the that director. Role? It was a supporting role in a movie, and I, and I didn't do it. I had a great meeting with this guy, but at the end of the meeting, he said to me, you're terrific, you're really, I really like your work, but why would I want Captain Picard in my movie? I vey. And that was a blow, mm-hmm. and that is the reason, as I began to realize, yes, I have now, not just to prove that I can act, but that the fact that I once was a Star Trek captain is irrelevant to right. it. That's an ongoing battle. Why, I thought, would I want to take on a second franchise? Because there was everything about X-Men. Were you surprised X-Men they that, asked you, though? Because here you were Captain Picard, and they probably were like, hey, if we put him in X-Men, everyone's well, going to go, there's Captain Picard. We had two very different people, two very bright Right and and remarkable people, Lauren Shula Donna, the executive producer of Star Trek, and Brian Singer, the director. Right, and yeah. they could see past all that shit, you know. Right. And um, I, I'll tell you how it came up. The moment it came up, I was I was in a film directed by Richard Donna, Lauren's husband, right. uh, a film with Mel, Mel Gibson. And uh, I was doing ADR at Warner Brothers one morning, and I got a note slipped to me saying, when you're through here, would you go and see Lauren Shula Donna in room some so So I went into the office. Her assistant said, the door's open. Yeah, just go on in, Patrick. And as I went through the door, Lauren picked something up from the desk and held it up in front of her. And I looked at it. I was just inside the door, and I said, my God, what am I doing on the front of a comic? 